We had DNA, we had toxicology, now we come to the most beautiful discipline, forensic entomology. Do you also think it's the most beautiful one? Uh, it's definitely interesting. <laughs> I have my moments. Um, I definitely focus a lot more on bones and anthropology, but I also find this super interesting, which is how I landed here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. You mean your moments? You mean like your happy moments with insects and decomposition or your, your disgust moments? Uh, more the disgust, yeah. <laughs> no, no, they're really interesting. It's cool to watch them go through their cycles, but definitely there's some gross moments for okay. sure. <laughs> so she's a bone person, obviously. Um, yes. how, how, did you, how did you get into the decomposition part? So, so um, we were doing a uh, just a whole experiment to determine the timeline for decomposition in the Sonoran Desert. Um, the Sonoran Desert is extremely dry. Um, is it cold at night or warm? Very cold at night. Yeah. So it can it can range anywhere um, of 59 degree change basically. So oh. even in these pictures, you can see that we ranged from 66 all the way back up to 106 um, at noon. That would be. 15 degrees Celsius to 48 degrees Celsius. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's quite a big change. Um, so what we noticed is that the temperatures throughout the day were roughly the same. Um, there's not a big enough difference overall to really determine that that's the difference. But if you look at the pictures, you have insect activity all around the torso. This is right before sunrise on both pictures, at noon and then at night, right after the sun has set. Did you produce a stab wound? Or we did not. That happened just naturally, the pig. Yeah, totally opened up on us. Um, and then, so you have insects around the torso, a little bit around the head. Um, and then here, there's a little bit under the arm, but for the most part, they've now disappeared. They've gone into the pig, under the pig, away from the pig. Um, and on this last picture here, you can see they've kind of taken over the entire torso. They're all back out. They're very active. It's a it's a maggot carpet. That's a beautiful one. Maybe you could show that. There's a yeah. maggot carpet here. Yeah. There is. It's very gross. Um, <laughs> And then on this other side here in the shade, you have the maggots all around the head, around the torso. This is the middle of the day now, and we're still around the torso and around the head. And then at night, we're still around the torso and around the head. So all day, and then here you're only seeing them when the sun is not really present. So what we were able to determine is that it looks as though temperature is not the only driving factor in the activity that we saw. Um, previously, it was determined that it was like heat stress and things like that that would cause the uh, insects to die. Um, and we just didn't find the same results. Honestly. So what, what do you think? <laughs> what, what is it? Sunlight? It's just like sunlight. The UV. The UV index. Uh, maggots. Maggots extreme, don't like sunlight. Yeah, we have extreme sunlight anywhere between nine and ten on a scale of zero to eleven. But you're so pale. How, how do you protect yourself? <laughs> I know. I know. I stay inside a lot. I will. No, no, but no, no. But really, how yeah. do you, how do you do that? Do you use like strong protection? Or uh, a lot of hats. Um, oh. Wearing long sleeves. I wore long sleeves and hats every single time I went out here. Be because because uh, this lady here has the same problem. She's also very <laughs> pale. So, yeah. Definitely recommend a hat, some sunscreen, things like that. Do you uh, did you grow up in the desert or how, how? I did. I grew up in Arizona in this climate my whole life. So I'm used to it, but most people can't deal with it. Getting up into um, 120 ish degrees or around like 46 degrees Celsius it gets it's pretty warm <laughs> how did you, how did you get into that because like 20 years ago forensic entomology so the, in, the insects were the cool part and yes. the interesting part but you're a little bit disgusted so how did you find your way into the topic <laughs> right um, so I started doing research under my anthropology professor um, and she was able to kind of guide me into her research project which was studying decomposition um, she works with the medical examiner's office and there's not really any data for um, determining postmortem intervals. So that's where we ended up in this research. And I was just kind of ready for anything that it could throw at me. So <laughs> I went for it. <laughs> what, 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 would you want to be a coroner later? Because then you would have to deal with probably a lot of decomposition. Or would you like to stay in the laboratory and have it nice and clean? Um, I'll probably go with anthropology, but anthropology within the medical examiner's office. So still some very gross um, You will things. get decomposed, <laughs> decomposed corpses. Do you have a lot of, a lot of mummies and uh, dried out corpses? Or does it always go like this? So you don't have the pure mummy, the pure drying out. Uh, How does it go in your area? I mean, you can get both. What we're seeing uh, is <laughs> this kind of almost looks mummified. I don't want to say that it's mummified. Yeah. I can't, I, I'm not the one to determine that, but it turned into almost like a gusher, which is really gross to ah, explain. Interesting. Um, very dry on the outside, very moist on the inside. So why um, do you call it a gusher? <laughs> like the little, the gummies. Have you seen like the little <laughs> gummies that have the liquid on the inside? <laughs> That's exactly, that's the best way for me to explain no, it and have everyone understand. No, but that's interesting because that's probably uh, something that's due to that specific climate there. Exactly, yeah. That what? extreme change in temperature really, and the sun just being so intense all the time. We rarely ever have clouds and there's really no rain. We get monsoon seasons. 
uh, where we get extreme amounts of rain at one time and then it, it's gone. <laughs> So, uh, did you collect the insects and send them to somebody or were you not so much interested in which particular insects these specifically so were? We weren't, but we do have an entomology department um, at ASU with us and they were supposed to be coming out and collecting samples. I don't know that it ever happened. <laughs> well, they were supposed to. <laughs> yes. So, final question. What do you do, let's say somebody is talking to you and saying like, hey, I'm under the impression you don't open up enough to me. Do you, do you think of such a corpse then? <laughs> no, you, no, no, no. Or would you, are you still able to open up in, uh, a, in a friendly, normal yeah. way without think, thinking of decomposition? Yeah, I don't have to think. You don't have to. <laughs> I can turn it off. You can turn it off. Thank yeah. you very much. Of course, thank you. <laughs>